Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit more chilled out, a little bit more sit down kind of style. I feel like last week's video was like high energy, like go, 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 it was a vlog, which I actually really enjoyed doing for you guys. But today I thought I would sit down and talk to you guys about some things that I've learned in my 20 years, it's not even 20, 21 years of life that I've been so kindly blessed with, my god, so far. So yeah, I was gonna do 21, actually no, I was never gonna do 21, because 21, girl, that's a lot of things. So I've decided to basically do a kind of like short list, a compressed version. I feel like I would start waffling after a while. So we're gonna get straight into this video. I've got the list on my computer. And so yeah, let's just get straight into it. Just wanna reiterate that a lot of these things like I've learned, I'm still learning and I'm still learning to adjust to and to incorporate more into my life. Lord knows I am so far from it. So, my first thing is to never let your environment define your value and worth. I think I've learned this more so in the past couple of years, probably since coming to uni more so. And that is that some people will never see your value, like end of story, period. Some people ain't gonna see that you're special. They ain't gonna see it. Not today, not tomorrow, not in 10 years time. You ain't special to them. Get over it. And it's actually a very like peak thing, but it's just the way it is. Like at the end of the day, it doesn't take away from your value. And I think like I've realized like, I can't waste my time trying to change the opinions of everyone, trying to have everyone see who I am, what I stand for and that I'm kind, I'm this, I'm that. So I feel like just letting that go and just, you know, catch it in a kid style like yeah so then the next thing that I would definitely say I have learned which sucks okay like I'm not even gonna see like I wish it was the opposite things don't always happen fast I am really impatient okay no I am it's tight it's tight I like things to be quick smooth fast who doesn't um, but the older I've gotten, the more I've realised that like, yeah, life's just say like that, like you've got to wait for a lot of things. I think some of the most amazing things I've had to do, or the most the amazing things that have happened, have ha been through waiting. Like it's been a long process. I think there's a big thing with social media trying to fool you and be like, one day you had no job, today you're now working at Deloitte earning 50k but no one see and like and that's not to say that like people are lying to you on social media and stuff people don't have to tell you the process it took them to get there like i don't think people have to be like i slaved away doing this that xyz it's none of your business essentially but what i do think is important is that you just have to remind yourself that there is a process to everything and those processes are often not simple sometimes they are complicated and sometimes they are simple don't get me wrong but it's not always as quick and it's not always on your time schedule. For example, I feel like when you like start to get to this age, I've noticed that like you start to see like how everyone's life takes such different avenues. Actually with like the school I went to, we were all like carbon copies of each other in terms of like GCSE, A-level, university, everything was very like the same. So this is the first time I feel like we're starting to see people's lives take different shapes and forms. Like, literally the other day on Facebook, a guy I used to go to primary school with um, got engaged, which is amazing, but like, I'm still at uni, racking up my debt, you know, just collecting hits, just pouring it on my head. And I think that kind of leads into my other point about the fact that I feel like I've learned and I still have to try and do this all the damn time. Like, I honestly don't know if you ever kind of stop doing it. I don't think you do. I feel like you always have to check yourself, but that's where like, at this point, I think it's really hard not to compare yourself to other people and to where they're going and to the avenues that they're taking. I think even in the sense of like, whether you feel like you're doing the right thing. I feel like if you compare yourself, like it's just a downward spiral, you'll just keep going and going and going. And before you know, you'll be down and out about your life when really like there's, like, there's so much to be grateful for. The next thing I would say, which kind of links to the fact that things don't always happen fast is that life just is not straightforward. When I was younger, I thought it was A, B, C, easy as one, two, three. I think we're all aware of the fact that things don't go to plan and that things aren't straightforward. But I think my main thing is that like, 
sometimes to get to where you want to be or to get to where God has called you to be or where you've asked God to take you it's not going to be done in the way that you expect it to be done it's not going to happen in the way you'd like it to happen but then the gift of hindsight steps in and all of a sudden you're looking back at it like it had to happen that way otherwise it never would have happened like personally for me like I can give the example of my house situation I live alone I live in this beautiful place I had literally had like a duplex studio like people come in they're like oh it's like a mini home but the way I ended up living on my own was not conventional was not conventional at all I now come out of it on the other side and I grew so much from that situation. I grew so much from that circumstance and even in this current circumstance, I have grown so much. I've always been independent in some sense of the word, but not in all aspects of my life. All I have to say is that like, it's not been sunshine and roses because I don't think anything ever is in life, but it's, I've been like, God has kept me through it right from September to now. I know he will continue to do it. But to, I say all that to say, like, if you pray for things, if you ask God for courage, if you ask God for strength, if you ask God for, like, to be able to forgive people, you're going to get situations where you then need to buck up and do those things. God will give you opportunities to exercise that. And in doing those things, you will become stronger, you will become more courageous, you will become more brave, you will become more independent through situations that don't look like it is going to end up that way, that don't look like it is going to work out that way. So yeah, something else that I think I've learned is that the things you pray for will happen, not on your time, but on God's time. It might not happen this year, they might not happen next year but they will happen eventually. Like I, when I was younger, and I still do this, um, would always write like little lists of things that I wanted God for, to do for me in my life, things that I wanted in my spiritual life, my um, personal life, and my like academic life for me, because I was younger, that's, those are my main three things. Things like asking for good GCSEs is a pretty quick turnaround. But like, it's relatively not that long a period to wait, know what you're going to find out. Whereas praying for things like um, good friends, but you could feel, you, you pray for them, but you don't know when it's going to happen. But there will be moments in your life where you're looking at a situation and you sit there and you think, this is exactly what I prayed for. The love I'm surrounded by is exactly what I prayed for. The friendships I'm surrounded by is exactly what I prayed for. The relationship I have is exactly what I prayed for. Like, the boyfriend that I have is exactly what I pray for. The career I have is exactly what I pray for. You get the gist. So then the next thing is your sanity is something that should never be taken for granted. Like, to have a sane and peaceful mind, to feel at ease, to feel at peace is a feeling and a mindset and a place that you should never take for granted. Peace in your heart, peace in your mind, peace in your soul are things that are so invaluable and if you have a level head and if you have the peace to do things and you feel at ease it is something that is so underrated and you should seek to feel that like you should seek to ensure that as much as you can because like, like like i said there's worries in life things happen there's stresses all of that kind of stuff that shake that but just having just like Putting your well-being first, your mental well-being first, as something that should not be taken lightly. Like, when I say no situation, no man, no friend, no body, no harlot, no nothing, okay? Nothing is actually worth your sanity, your peace. And don't get me wrong, though, people are going to try and take that peace away from you. People are going to try and take your sanity away from you. People are going to try and fight you and war you on that. Like... You ain't gonna let you go scot-free. The next thing I will say is that most people are takers. I think being conscious of the fact that not everyone deserves all of your time, all of your love and all of your attention. Say that for the people who deserve it. Say that for the people who you need it and who you can give it to. I think sometimes in life you have to literally say like, I can't pour into you right now because I have nothing in me. Like it's not gonna be helpful for you or for me. The other thing which we my friends love to say is no news is good news, okay? In this life, yeah, sometimes like if people are like, oh what's going on in your life? And you're like nothing much. 
don't be sad about it baby girl baby boy honestly rejoice because one day you're chilling relaxing maximum cool the next day bam life comes at you fast so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button as well and yeah i will see you guys in another video very soon